Hi everyone, my name is Marwan Hussein. I am the founder of MarwanPainter.com. This is my new course and finally it's finished and ready. This is the result that we will get when you end and finish this course. This is the final result of this course. Before we jump in and see the details of this result, let's talk about the course in general. In this course, we will learn how to model this vehicle from start to finish. I have the blueprint images that you want to start the journey of the modeling. It's not about modeling. After that, we will jump to our robbing and after the our robbing, we will rig this vehicle and make it ready to animate it. So a rigging section is here in this course. After the rigging section, we will jump to the texturing adding the material, tweaking the material, make them realistic, uh, adding uh, texture to support the material to get nice results like scratch, dirt, uh, etc. all of the imperfection. After that, we will render this vehicle and we will get a result exactly like this. So as I said, this is the final result of this course. All right, now let's see what details do we have here. I will hit this button just to zoom and maximize this so we could see and understand. As you see here, we have the shader material that we created, the flex, looks how the flex are uh, reacting to the light here, the details of the tires, the, the bumpness and the dirt that we added here to the wheel, a scratch, and check how the lighting behave here on the surface. See the scratch, how it gives this vehicle and uh, push the realism of uh, this vehicle. Check the dirt here that we added, the imperfection, the dust or the dirt. We will learn to achieve all of that and we will learn how to make the reflection goes uh, consistent uh, on the surface. As you see, this surface is sliced and the reflection still goes consistent without any problem. Check the result here or here in this area or this area as well. The, ref uh, the reflection goes straight without any distortion and here as well. Very nice, very beautiful. Check the back tire here or the rear tire here. How details we have here and how it's realistic. I have more images here. Let's browse them. Let's jump to the next one. This is the result from the back view. We will learn how to create the metal material, all of these details in the model section, and all of these materials. Let's jump to the next one. This is from uh, sorry, this is from the front view. As you see, everything is nice and beautiful. This is a close uh, shot here, so we could see the details. Uh, you can uh, put your camera as close as you want, and you will still get very nice results. And I will prove that uh, for you just in a minute. Let's go to this image. As you see, the flex, how it behaves nicely with the lighting and the scratch, how react with the light and how give you realistic and beautiful result here and the tire here as well. <coughs> Check this image, see how close we are here and we still got very awesome result here for the tire or for the metal here we have on the bumper. Very cool, very awesome. I added <coughs> in the cavities uh, a dirt <coughs> so we could make this uh, a bit old and use too much. And I targeted the, the tire trade uh, and make it uh, a bit old and destroyed. As you see here, the destruction targeting just the trade, not the whole tire. And you will learn all of that mask technique inside material. We will learn how to make uh, the back light and how to add a texture inside it, how to make it emit light as you see here and we will use this technique here and here to this light and this one in the middle as well. Let's see what do we have here. This is another uh, result here. Check how the light 
uh, he, uh, or the reflection goes nicely without any distortion. Even if you uh, take a very close shot like this, you still see nice details and scratch and dirt here. Very, very awesome. So this is uh, about the detail. I will jump to Blender to see more about that. All right, now I'm inside Blender and this is the result with Eevee. By the way, the images that we just browsed all of them rendered with cycle but we still have very awesome and nice result with Eevee as you see here very realistic and beautiful let's let's zoom in here to the front tire to see what we have check the details that we have here even we go very close like this we still have very nice bumpiness and uh, reflection and very nice the wheel as well and the vehicle itself I mean the body if you for example let's zoom in here so we could see what we have here in this area sorry uh, about the performance of my computer it's a bit slow but I think uh, we will uh, get to the point that I want to say as you see here the imperfection is very nice Let's go, for example, to the bag here. Let's see how close we can go here to this area, for example. Let's zoom in and keep zooming in to see. I'm still zooming in, I see, and I still see details here. As you see here, very nice. You can put your camera in very close uh, places and you will still get very awesome and nice uh, results. The tire as well, the back tire here. Let's zoom in just a little bit here so we could see what we have here. A very nice uh, material we achieved here. And we will learn step by step how to do all of that. Let's zoom in here in this area so we could see what details do we have with Eevee. With EV, we still have uh, the details that we added, and with Cycle, uh, we can render this more accurately, and we're going to get a uh, better result. But with EV, we still have very nice uh, detailing here. All right, let's talk about the animation here. Let's see what, what do we have here. I added this controller here, and... This one will help me to move the vehicle and I added another controller right here. This one will help me to uh, rotate the wheel, the front wheel, change the direction. If I hit G to move this, let's move this just a little bit. As you see now, I can move the wheel very easily. Check this out, how this react, and I will teach you how to use the armature here and how uh, to make this stop at a point and not uh, going so far away from the vehicle. We will learn how to create this relationship between this bone and the tires and how uh, make the tire following this uh, bone here. All of that we will learn uh, in this in this course, and this big controller right here will help me to move the car itself. If I hit G to the Y, I can move this, and the tires will follow nicely. If I zoom in here to see what we got, as you see here, we have a movement here in the tire. But because I'm rendering, it's a bit glitchy. I will jump to the solid mode so we could understand that more. All right, now I'm in solid mode. I will move this. As you see, we have very nice smooth movement here. Let's reset the direction of the front wheel, Alt key. And let's move this again, key. Very nice, very beautiful result we, ha we got here. 
So in this course, we will learn modeling, uh, rubbing, rigging, texturing, all of that in this course. And we will get very, very nice results. So if you care about getting crazy results like this, take this course and take your skill level next. So that's will do it for the intro. My name is Mar Hussein, the founder of MarwanPainter.com. Check my website and check my other courses here on Udemy. And see you inside.